I was working at a much smaller firm with an awful micromanaging boss. And I realized within 10 days of <laughs> starting that role that it had been a okay. huge mistake, but that I'm not a quitter. And I, I, was like, I have to be here at least a year. I have to learn. I have to put things on my CV, as we call it in the UK, on my resume. And so we would have performance reviews every month, literally every month. And when I had my 12th performance review, I treated it like an annual performance review and brought everything that I'd done to the table. And my boss who owned the company was like, wow. And I negotiated <laughs> a raise. For the first time, I was so proud. I was so excited. And then the following month, um, because we get paid monthly in the UK, my paycheck was the same. And I went to my boss and said, it's the same. And he was like, I don't remember giving you a pay rise. Do you have that in writing? <laughs> and Dave, that was a turning point. And at that point, I realized not only was, okay, I've done everything I can do here. I have to work at a larger firm. I have to work in a more professional environment. And so that instinct took me to apply um, for the opportunity at Jackie Cooper PR, which was the PR firm that was acquired by Edelman. Um, it was a huge step for me. I negotiated my salary going in. I got what I asked for. And then maybe within 18 months of starting there, they were acquired by the largest PR firm in the world. And I subsequently asked for a relocation to Los Angeles. And that's what took me to LA. Okay, so I want to go back to that moment, though, because there's a there's a principle here. And I'm sure yes. it's something that you talk about in your, your coaching consulting work which was the confidence that you, it required and that you had to go into a performance review and talk about how great you are, right? And I think people listening to this have a hard time with the balance of feeling like you're promoting yourself, but also coming across as arrogant or that you're bragging. Yes. So, and, and I'm sure you had more experiences since that moment. What have you learned is the key to negotiating yourself to having a better salary or having more opportunities? Um, what I learned is that how important it is to know your worth, even when it's not being reflected back at you. It's okay. really important to remember what you're building towards and the bigger picture. And when I was doing that awful job, the irony is that awful job is what landed me my next opportunity because I was so much more resilient. I had worked the hardest. I had worked, <laughs> and I was at the early stages of my career, but it was the most intense environment, but I also produced some really stellar results. And I'd started to build a portfolio of work. And I'd also learned a lot about myself. I'd learned a lot about what my non-negotiables were, Dave. I'd learned a lot about the type of work I wanted to do and the environments I wanted to be in. And what I wanted to earn was just a piece of that. I'd had to ask myself some really hard questions about what mattered most to me and what, where I wanted to pour my energy and the investment I wanted to make in my career. That's, there's, that's really interesting because I think a lot of people, when they get into a negative environment like mm -hmm. that, it wasn't the most positive, let's put it that way. Yeah. They start to focus on everything that's wrong. Yeah. And focus on this is a waste of time. I don't like what I'm doing. It sounds like you recognized that it wasn't great, but that you took the time to look at the positives of the situation and what it was giving to you. At the time, I thought I had no other choices. And I probably did have other choices. I probably could have started looking faster. But in my mind, I just thought I've got to be here a year, maybe because I was very early in my career. It was my second job. So I was like, what, 23, 23 years old. I, and I was like, I have to see this through for at least a year and then start looking again. And I don't know where that thought came from, but that's what I was determined to do. And I was determined for it not to break me. And I was determined for me to come through it stronger and mm. to have something better. And I'm so glad that I did because that period, when I look back now, changed my life. If you liked this video and want to listen to the full episode, go to your favorite podcast app and subscribe to the Dave Crenshaw Success Project. You can also find all the full episodes at successproject.show.